I can use Google Calendar to create a lesson plan that's really handy for me to get through my day efficiently. So I'm going to put them over here on August 7. One of the first classes that I'm going to meet, I'll meet them at 9 o'clock, that'll be 4B. I like to put this on the computer lab sign up calendar. I wanted to put it on the computer lab sign up calendar since that calendar is available to other teachers who might want to sign up to use the lab. This way they'll know that I've got a class called 4B that's using the room at that time. So I still want to add some detail here though. So one of the things that I want to add, and it's a little hard to add the event right there since 4B is taking up all the space. So I'll click just below it. Um, we want to do some keyboarding practice. I don't want to put this on the computer lab sign up calendar. It's too much detail for other people, but it's handy for me and I'm going to call it my lesson plan calendar. I'm putting it on the lesson plan calendar. I want to edit that event because I got to change the time. We're going to start that at 9 o'clock and we're going to finish it at 9.15. Okay, save. And now the two events overlap, but that's fine. That gives me a little room. Uh, next I want to do just a, an intro to graphs with 4B. I'll put it that on my lesson plan calendar like I did the other. Got to fix that time because it has to start at 9.15. Sometimes it's not that easy to get uh, Google Calendar to do tiny increments. And we're going to end that at 10 o'clock. Okay, that's, that's pretty handy to show me what we're doing. But just as handy and maybe even better is the agenda view. In the agenda view it gives me a list of all of these items and that's really handy for me. It might also be handy for a substitute teacher so that they would know exactly what time different things occur. Notice that they are color-coded also with the same color as is shown on the My Calendars on the left side. If I wanted to add yet another calendar, it's really easy to do that, Create. One thing that I'd like to show you, and I'm going to advance this a little bit, and we'll go to the Agenda View now for that week. Some of these events look a little bit different, like Keyboarding 2, there's a little clock there. That's a reminder. I'll just click on that and edit the event. That reminder is set down here. It's set to give me a pop-up 10 minutes before that event. So I'll still be in Keyboarding 1 class. But 10 minutes before keyboarding one is finished, I'll get a pop-up on my laptop that will tell me I've got 10 minutes before keyboarding two comes in. If you prefer, you can set that time for anything you want, or you can have it send you an email the day before, an hour before, or you can have no reminders at all. The default is a pop-up, in other words a message that will flash on your screen. So let's save that. Uh, I'm going to save that for all the events in this list. This is a repeating list. It repeats on all those different days.